Hey, what's up everybody? This is Richie here, and today I have something very, 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 very awesome to show you, and that is the fancy cow farm. Now, this farm is not like a normal farm. It's not designed to be highly efficient. No, it is. It's designed to show off and look awesome. So yeah, let's show you guys how this works. First, you're just going to grab all your wheat and hold down right here. Those cows will start loving. And lots of baby cows are going to fly out of the bottom. And eventually, what they're going to start doing is fall down here. You can see it's raining cows. It's actually kind of hilarious to see this. But, you know, these cows are all going to go in here. It's, it's really funny to see them come over the water like that. I don't know what it is, but there's something just hysterical about it. So all the cows are going to go in there. And once they grow up, you can see some of them in there are actually grown up. You can just hit the button. And uh, the baby cows won't burn, but the grown-up cows will. And you're going to get all your resources, just a ton of steak and a ton of leather, and you're going to be quite happy, and your friends are going to be quite impressed because, let's face it, this is a lot cooler than a regular cow farm. So I'm going to get started with the tutorial. So this block right here is going to be your starting block. Now you're going to take blocks out like this and punch a block out, and this is going to be the level you stand on. And you're going to have to dig two down because this is the level the cows are going to spawn out and put a block right here. Then make a wall right on this side, just like this. And build basically around and up like this, making sure to leave the spaces on the sides. You don't actually need them. You can make this one wide, but I find it cooler. And the entire point of this farm was to be cool. I built it on a server to impress my friend. That's literally the only reason I did it. I already had a perfectly functional farm. So you're going to continue doing this until it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks long. And then at the seventh block, you're just going to case it in all like this and build up to your full level. You're going to grab some water and some signs and some slabs. You're going to put slabs all right here, a water here, a water here, and then a water right here. And you can see we got pushed up onto the slab. And that's the idea that the cows will too. So you're going to take signs all like this and put water. They have to be source blocks all right here. And now you can finish off this. We don't need it anymore. And you're going to put water just like this as well. From that point, we're going to take three blocks and put them right here, and three blocks and put them right there, and that's just going to serve as a reminder for where these things are. A solid block here, and a solid block here, and a solid block here, and a solid block here. We're going to grab a dispenser and put it right here. Now we're going to carry the tube up in height to match the dispenser. So we want it even with the dispenser, and then we want to go one up, just like this. I would recommend putting glass right here. And now we're going to take these two blocks out like this, and you're going to place signs on top of each other by shift-clicking just like this, and then fill this entire thing in with water. They have to be source blocks, which means you basically have to click every single block. And here you go. That's our drop shoot right there. From that point, we want to go to the solid blocks and go out one on each side, and then down one and in a row like this. So it's going to get all cased in right here. We want to take some slabs and put them on top of this block and then go out a block and place slabs on top of it like that. You want to grab some hoppers 
and take these three blocks out and place hoppers in facing just to one side and you want to put a chest right there where the hoppers lead into and then of course you can close off this area and basically you have a complete cow farm what you want to do is leave a block open here and then go up in a layer of blocks like this now they can't escape here but I like to put a little roof on top of it just like this and that way it they just stay in it and you get that comical bouncing cow now for the redstone part of it you're gonna put a button here and on this side just have redstone wire coming up like this and a repeater at the end of it and on the other side we're gonna have a repeater redstone wire and then all these repeaters set to four ticks and close it out with redstone now you're gonna grab a lava bucket and some signs and we should have done this before but you're gonna place signs right on the inside of here just like this so that lava can't go down and you're gonna throw a lava bucket in here when you press this button hopefully lava should turn on and then turn right back off and if you did that correctly that is your farm done now what you want to do is drop a bunch of cows in here and when you think you have enough cows and you might need a piston to do this you can push an iron bar on top of them with a piston or if you like do something else or magically click it right you can um, just place it by yourself but there you go there's your cow farm you can stand here with wheat and breed these cows and then they'll fall down into here when they do they would die or if you have like a looting sword or something you can kill them just like that and I'm gonna pretend I didn't break that but hey that's all I got time for today this has been Richie and I will see you guys next time